What's happening there, Reject Nation? We are going to watch today the first trailer for Obi-Wan. Hello there. But before we go into that, I want to say a special thank you to a sponsor we have loved working with this past month, and that is the Displate. Sometimes I just stand back there and admire that poster. For you art lovers out there, Displate makes gorgeous prints on durable metal sheets that are super easy to install, display, and swap out. And they've over a million designs in their stores, ranging from independent artists to some of our favorite IPs, like Star Wars, DC and Marvel. And you won't need any power tools to install them thanks to Displace magnet-based mounting system. It takes all of about 20 seconds to install. We also got Spidey on the wall here. And since John's a big horror fan, we also got this awesome trick-or-treat display, which will not be hung here. We don't do he that lives here. elsewhere. Displace plants a tree for each one you buy and they ship to 56 countries worldwide. So hit our special link in the description box and save yourself 23% on your first one or two displays, or save 20 27% when you grab three or more. Supports them, supports the channel, supports you, and seeming like you're not living in some like blank colorless void in your life. Now on to the video. The fight is done. Hmm. We lost. Kenobi of Arabia. <laughs> Loki! Stay hidden. Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, to hunting Jedi. Oh, patience. Nipple chills. Grand Inquisitor! <laughs> Jedi cannot help what they are. Oh, no. Their compassion. Oh, oh damn. Is that a hanging? Trail. Uncle Owen. The Jedi code is like an itch. Oh, it's shit. cannot help it. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. This looks great. <laughs> cool. Holy balls. Ah, the lightsaber on the eye. It's good. It's a good touch. Ha <laughs> nice. Cool. Nice. Comes out when A New Hope was originally released in 1937. We gotta travel back <laughs> in order to see Obi-Wan. <laughs> That's good marketing. <laughs> that looks great. That looks really so cool. So it seems like that Vader dispatched the Inquisitors to go find Obi-Wan specifically? Yeah, he's bitter. Unless well, there's a mislead here with the trailer. Where you're like, no, I think my son's out there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him get away. Go kill that kid. Whew, that looked awesome. That looked like a movie. Absolutely. It looked like did. a movie. It was supposed to be a movie. That's going to be better than Book of Boba Fett. Uh, <laughs> that's the new bar. That's the new, the bar, new bar. As long as you clear, clear that. As long as you're okay. And I like Boba Fett. <laughs> I did too. Oh, I did too. But yeah, this looks more vital and, and more lived in. After they start playing Duel of the Fates, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The Bring it full circle with the first appearance from Obi-Wan Kenobi's Ewan McGregor. And then now to have his show, a, a, a series that we've been wanting for so long, important chapter in his life. Now we got the Inquisitors showing up here. First time in live action, if I'm not mistaken. So if you guys watch Rebels or played Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, you will be familiar with the Inquisitors, obviously. They are like people who are dispatched to hunt down Jedi who survived after Order 66 or hunt down Force-sensitive children. I remember even been playing Jedi Fallen Order. I think it was the second sister. Yes, I forget her actual name. Took me like four hours to beat her. I had to stop playing it and then continue the next day, did it in 30 minutes. 
There you go. That's the plot leak for how this is going to end. One of the fights. <laughs> Most Greg secret. swoops in and beats the <laughs> yeah. show in 30 minutes. Obi Wan's like, I'm going to take a break. We'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to beat you then. Fresh <laughs> eyes. And then with the Grand Inquisitor, uh, he is hailed as like just right behind Darth Vader in terms of like most powerful. You know, he's he's extremely powerful. I would recommend just going and watch Rebels. I won't talk spoilers about it, but it's exciting to have him here. There's a really big threat in Rebels. He's badass to behold. Jason Isaacs voiced him in the animated series. Now to see him brought to live action is just so neat. And they even got the specific types of unique lightsabers, the spinning ones. Oh yeah, that looked cool. And then so here it looks like the main villain tasked to hunting down, uh, it looks like at least the trailer saying the one to hunt down Obi-Wan is gonna be Reva. I thought she'd have a helmet or something. I always associate them with having <laughs> helmets. You do see them in their, their quarters at one point where it looks like you're gonna see some of the other Inquisitors as well who we've seen in Rebels. More importantly, I mean, just what this looks like is just, it looks like cinematic as fuck. Like it, it looks beautiful. I like seeing like the, the little bits of Obi-Wan that we got, like when he's watching Luke at the beginning, who's like, I'm going to be a pilot one day. Uh, and then Obi-Wan's looking at him like, oh, I've seen this before. Yes. Yes. I remember being here on Tatooine and this like one kid <laughs> pod racing. He's just like his pops. Also with the sort of um, despairing portrayal that we have here of Uncle Owen with Joel Edgerton re reprising his role, I imagine that this will also explore what ultimately led to them having having this like tension between them because as we saw in A New Hope, the way how Uncle Owen describes him, he calls him like a crazy old wizard. Mm. You know, when you actually catch up with Obi-Wan in that film, when uh, Luke brings up the name Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi-Wan responds in a way like, I haven't heard that name in so long. Oh my yeah. God, I forgot all about him. So I think we're gonna be seeing, you know, A, this transition from Obi-Wan just fully succumbing to becoming Ben Kenobi, where he has, you know, lost so much sight of his former self, maybe, perhaps, I don't know, it's a very specific chapter. We'll also see what led to Uncle Owen completely mistrusting or wanting nothing to do mm. with Obi-Wan. Like, I, I think what will happen is through these series of events, Uncle Owen would ultimately find Obi-Wan's presence to be a threat to Luke's safety. Yeah, with everything yeah. that he brings with him. And I'm curious to see how they'll play that because, I mean, hearing the description that we're gonna join Obi-Wan in a state where he is more disparate and he is more faithless, I believe, as the press brief, uh, puts it, that harkens to me to the idea that they went with for Luke in The Last Jedi, which I can't imagine they'll do here. So I'm curious to see how they change that flavor because also, I mean, Ewan McGregor is one of the best actors to grace a Star Wars movie <laughs> uh, because, you know, I mean, sometimes the acting isn't always the best or the most, you know, enlivened. And I feel like he has the perfect blend for this world where he can fit perfectly in with like the elements of the Star Wars acting flavor that you associate, but also really bring that pathos and that gravitas sure. and whatnot. Like to see this middle chapter, I'm curious to know how they will, you know, embolden the stakes because we know that Luke, little Luke, is not going to fall into the wrong hands, probably at least not for long if he does. That's the big question mark for me now is how are they going to make this middle chapter vital? And I hope they do that via, you know, a strong character study of this, you know, titular character who's supposed to have a movie focused on him. And now a show I feel like is even better because you can dig into all those layers and bring in all your cool other Star Wars you know, uh, Inquisitor characters and whatnot. Well, it's reported to be six episodes yes. and each one is going to be at least an hour long. That's yeah. what was reported. It looked like at one point here that they we go off tattooing at some point or maybe it isn't tattooing, I'm not sure. They've hyped up a place called Dayu, which yeah, is supposed to have like, yeah, like a criminal nightlife and it's supposed to be very neon washed and edgy. It's like Madripoor. Exactly like Madripoor. <laughs> Star Wars Drapoor. I think Deborah Chow said it was like a, a city at a Hong Kong. Based off Hong Kong, yeah. I think this looks awesome. Deborah Chow, the work that she's done in Star Wars already has been mm -hmm. phenomenal. I can't wait to see this show. You best bet we're going to be doing reactions to it. Guys, what'd you think about the Obi-Wan trailer? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe, click the notification bell. Major thanks to Display for sponsoring this video. Helps get around that Duel of the Fates copyright claim. <laughs> anyway, but before we leave, let's do a pick. <laughs> We're gonna keep this straight to the point, Michael B, go! Michael B, if if we're gonna be covering this show, you can bet Michael B is gonna be covering this show. So Michael, hey, prep yourself. The Star Wars fans are coming. And if you're a Star Wars fan who's made it to this point in the video, go subscribe to Omni Media and keep an eye out for his reactions. Just make sure that you watch them after you watch our reactions because we sent you. That's the hierarchy of things. Michael B, he's got great insights. He knows the world. He is an expert and a nerd on the hierarchy 
highest level, of the highest order. We love him, and uh, hey, buddy, we'll catch you soon. Thanks for being here. Yeah, my